Hi everybody, my name is Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is a little bit of an off the cuff chat with you about kind of life things and how things are going. And also I want to talk about this channel a little bit because I feel that I have done wrong by it. <laughs> um, and I, I want to, I want to give some explanation in that as well. And to also hopefully put those feelings to rest. <laughs> and so, um, this is just a, a random, very random chatty video that is not particularly organized in any way. But first of all, if you've seen my Instagram already, then you know this, um, by now, but I am pregnant. If you see my shirt, <laughs> I can only wear this shirt for this weekend and then probably it won't fit in a week, <laughs> but it says roses are red. Fa Valentine's are sweet. Our family is growing by two little feet. So yes, we are expecting. <laughs> I am about 13 weeks along, so I'm very excited to be leaving behind the first trimester because I have just been nauseous for for weeks and weeks. Um, actually, I was I was very nauseous in the month of January while we were doing Flannery O January, which was a read along of Flannery O'Connor works and. I really did not feel well in the month of January and now I hope that I, I get rid of this association someday but now when I look at a Flannery O'Connor book I actually like I have like nauseous feelings because I have this weird mental association with like feeling nauseous and reading Flannery O'Connor so <laughs> sadly when I look at a Flannery O'Connor book now I feel a little queasy <laughs> which is which is hopefully going to go away because <laughs> I do like Flannery O'Connor's writing. Otherwise, I would not have done Flannery O January. I, I, I enjoy that author. But now, like the book cover, when I look at it, I don't feel well. <laughs> and it's just a weird mental thing. And I hope it goes away. But anyways, <laughs> I have not been feeling great to film either or even to read. Um, I, I know I posted these New Year's goals that was like, I'm going to post on my channel every week and it's going to be every Sunday and I'm going to be super regular about it. And then I didn't post for a month. <laughs> so ugh, I think, and this is what I want to talk about really with you guys is that this channel and this hobby has been such a source of joy to me and I have just been feeling guilty about not being able to keep up with things, about just everything getting in the way, <laughs> um, and sometimes good things and sometimes just like overwhelming workloads as well. Um, with my new job, it's still, it's, it's still, I have 10 hour days a lot of the time and I have work on the weekends a lot, a lot of stuff to do all the time. It's just what being a teacher in America is like, and so I just... I've really struggled. I, I've felt like a first year teacher all over again this year. Um, and then teaching during the pandemic is a whole other thing as well. So it's been like a different level of stress than I have experienced the last couple years. Um, even when I was in my old job teaching in person, I feel like I, I was better at work-life balance. And this year, work-life balance has been much more of a challenge. So booktube has been really inconsistent and you've probably noticed, <laughs> but I wanted to say that I, while it's inconsistent, I think I am embracing the fact that it may be inconsistent for a while. Um, but I, I don't want to, I don't want to stop this hobby. I don't want to get rid of this channel. Um, even when my life is completely turned upside down in a little bit. Oh, I'm due in August. I should probably mention that. So I have until August as a pregnant lady. And then after August, our life is going to completely change. And um, habits and rhythms are going to have to completely change. This room has to completely change too. Um, I live in a small place. I live in a two bedroom house, uh, one bathroom. We have 
not a ton of space. It's a good, it's a good solid little house, <laughs> but it's small. And um, this has been the booktube filming office um, workroom kind of place, but it's, it has to change. <laughs> We're not going to be able to move to a bigger place for some time. We're working really hard on paying debt off and um, getting out from our debt. We still have school debt we're dealing with and various payments, as most people do. But in order to make room for a, a third member of the household, we've really been thinking seriously about finances and um, ways in which we can, we can stay where we live for as long as we really need to, to pay off debt. And then once we pay off debt, then we can think about moving to a bigger place. But in the meantime, um, while the baby's small, we're gonna stay in our little house. And so this this room is gonna be a baby room. I don't know what that means for where I'm gonna put my books. <laughs> um, there's definitely gonna be some rearranging, some reorganizing, and probably getting rid of some of these bookcases as well. Some unhauling, a lot of that needs to happen. Um, but there's not a lot of places in my house where books could go. Um, I'm gonna have to be creative. I'm thinking in in my bedroom, in our bedroom actually, is gonna be have to be like a lot of um, shelves on the upper half of the walls and kind of use the space that way. So um, there's gonna be some changes <laughs> coming up soon as we start to work on this room. Um, my filming location is gonna change probably pretty drastically um, throughout this year. <laughs> so those are just a few things that have been on my mind about booktube, but mostly just feeling like I, I, I don't have it in my life to be consistent and I don't have like consistent free time every week. Um, sometimes that, that free time changes or weekends I find that there wasn't any free time in the weekend as well which is usually when I do my filming. So, um, yeah, weeknights I've been exhausted. I've just like fell asleep on the couch at like eight or 8.30 um, or just crawl into bed at 8.30. So there hasn't been even any energy to read at night. I, I've been reading like, I don't know, one or two books a month and that's probably gonna be kind of average for me for a while. Um, and I, I have this feeling like, oh, well, I, I shouldn't be a booktuber if I'm, if I'm not reading enough, you know, there's, there's that, there's that misconception <laughs> and I know it's a misconception. So I still want to be here. I still want to be talking about what I'm reading, but if I've struggled to, first of all, have enough to talk about and enough content, um, to talk about the books that I'm reading. Cause just cause I'm not reading in the same volume that I used to be. And then also just not having the energy, <laughs> the energy to sit and talk to a camera. Although it doesn't seem to take a lot of energy, but like the whole editing process as well and the setting up of the equipment, um, I don't have a super fancy setup. It, it really doesn't take that long, <laughs> but there's like a mental energy that it takes as well that I haven't had lately. And so I just want to say I'm still here and I apologize if I said I was going to be consistent and then suddenly I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and I just feel like a total hypocrite. And so basically I'm taking that pressure away and I'm, I'm saying I do not have an upload schedule. <laughs> um, it's just going to be what it's going to be for a while. And sometimes I'll be more active and sometimes I'll be less active, but I'll, I'm still here and I'm still watching booktube quite a lot and watching other people's videos. I'm still in the community trying to participate. Um, but I think I have to be realistic with like how much time I actually have to dedicate to this platform. And I hope you'll stick around with me, even though I may be a little bit flighty <laughs> and inconsistent with my upload schedule. Um, I'll be on Instagram probably a lot more and I'm going to try to do more Instagram updates just because it's more of a time saver. It's a little easier to quickly do a Instagram post rather than a, a booktube video that takes me like half the day usually from from filming to editing. So 
um, just not having half the day available very often or ever has been really difficult. (laughs) So I am just being honest with you guys and uh, I hope that you will stay subscribed even if I kind of pop in and out which I've been doing for the past few months anyways and I know like you're all, you're still here so it's not like you don't know that that's happening <laughs> but I'm just I'm coming clean about it and just letting you know that I'm still here but I will not be here on a regular basis probably <laughs> And then once the baby is born, who knows? I'm hoping to get, you know, two to three months of maternity leave. Um, My maternity leave is going to be really, really strange because um, as a teacher, (laughs) my baby is born in the month that we get back to school. And so I'm going to have to be out at the very beginning of the year, which in my mind it's going to be a hard time to be out um but maybe it won't be as bad as I'm thinking but my like my students will not have met me yet until I come back from maternity leave so that's kind of weird and then I'll just be like hi I'm your teacher and they'll be like who are you (laughs) so that's really odd like an odd feeling for me um But it is what it is and while you know the timing didn't work out but it's god's timing i believe (laughs) and so for whatever reason this baby needed to be born in the month of august even though it's one of the worst times for me personally (laughs) to be out of work but it, it is what it is julio and i are ecstatic to be parents and ecstatic for this new life phase um we have been just sitting on our hands, trying to just wait to tell people until we felt like it was the right time. And um, since everything's been going fine so far, um, it was time. (laughs) So we're just so excited to be parents. And I don't know what the future of this channel will look like. I, I wanna do more vlogs because I feel like vlogs are an easy way for me to film and not feel like it's a sit down formal video. So maybe you'll see some vlogs from me, hopefully. Um, But again, I'm not making any any actual statements about this channel and no promises whatsoever other than I'm still here and I still want to make videos. Um, Just the timing of them might be random for a while. I'm hoping to find some kind of rhythm. Um, I'm, I'm not like purposefully wanting to be random, but but I have to just be realistic. So this is me being realistic, but this is just me saying, hi, I'm still here. I've had some things going on. Um, Let me know how you're doing. (laughs) This is just a live chat, basically. Um, Let me know how things are and what you've been reading lately. And also let me know if like, I'm not putting pressure on myself to make like specific content, but if there's anything from my channel that you're like, I think you should put the, your time into that thing. If it's vlogging or um, whatever. <laughs> Videos with Julio. Actually, Julio's been doing some reading lately and I really wanna film a video with him so that he can talk about what he's been reading. Um, and he's actually been better about reading than I have been lately, <laughs> which is a weird turnaround of events. So I don't really know what this video is. <laughs> um, it's, just a, it's just a high, a high. And, and then a, um, let's just be realistic about what this channel is and what I'm capable of right now, which is random uploads in no specific schedule. So if you're okay with that, stick around and see what happens, I guess. That's all I have to talk about today. Thanks for watching this kind of random off the cuff video. I am really glad that I'm still on this channel and I hope to keep it for as long as I can. Um, And we'll just see, we'll just see how it goes. But um, I care about all of you very much. Thank you so much for watching. And I really value your friendships. I just want you to know that and that my absence from time to time on this channel does not reflect my heart's desire. (laughs) I, I still value this. Um, it's just life. It's just life. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. 
keep reading great books and hopefully I will too. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>